Two by two, coming out of turn number four into the restart zone. Green flag back in the air. Better start for Peters. He's alongside Crafton. Got a good angle down in the corner. Door to door, coming out onto the back stretch. Crafton with the advantage. Timothy Peters tucks in behind as they go into turn number three. Bubba Wallace moves the 17 out of the way. He takes second. Timothy Peters tries to keep it straight. More contact. Right flag in the air. One more time for Matt Crafton. Two by two as they continue through one and two. Out in front of the field. The 88 of Matt Crafton. The late, late charge by the 54 of Darrell Wallace Jr. But it's the 88. Matt Crafton wins in Martinsville. A champion a year ago and now gets his fourth career win and it comes in Martinsville. What a great job. The too little, too late though. Two laps to go for Crafton. Can he hang on? Will he be able to stretch it? He's got to go just another three miles. Right now the top five in our running order have all stayed on the racetrack, has, has, have not come to pit road since that last caution flag. Can they make it all the way? Wow, this is dramatic. This is this is a long run to the checkered on one tank of gas. A mile and a half is what they're looking for now they're as they cross the strike. Like crazy, 14 seconds. White flag 14 in the seconds. air one more time around for Crafton. 14 seconds to gap behind him to Lofton. Coulter also on the same schedule. He's running in the third spot. Joe Nemechek is fourth. He's 18 seconds back. And John West Town with the only other truck not to come to pit road in the top five. He's the final lap. Can he make it all the way through three and four? He can coast home from there, Rick. He's going to make it. He's going to make it. Matt Crafton. What I'm talking about, Hood. Now that was a whooping. Thank you, boys. How about that? Crafton winning in Texas. And it is my pleasure for the second year in a row to announce that Matt Crafton is a Camping World Truck Series champion. As he climbs down from his number 88 and makes his way up to the championship stage, a spot he's familiar with. Having done this as well last year, climbing out of a truck 338 times in his Camping World Truck Series career. This year he climbs out as the first ever back to back truck series champion. Making his way to the stage to hug his family, wife Ashley, daughter Elodie. Elodie was on this stage last year as a seven month old. Now 19 months, understanding it a little better. We'll hear from our owner's champion as well. But first, as we bring Matt Crafton to the stage, we begin our championship festivities. First, CEO and chairman of our title sponsor, Camping World and Good Sam Enterprises, Marcus Limonis. Matt, consistency, stability, but most importantly, maturity has brought you back here again. Your leadership is the reason that Camping World loves being involved. So congratulations again. Congratulations on another championship. Thank you. It's the first time Marcus has gotten to uh, introduce a back-to-back -back champion right. because it's never happened in series history. Now for the presentation of the championship trophy, we turn things over to our president, NASCAR president, Mike Helton. Matt, on behalf of all of NASCAR, congratulations on you and Thor Sports back-to-back -back champions. We were proud of you last year. We're more proud of you this year. You guys have had a great season. Congratulations, and we look forward to celebrating with you Monday night. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Your 2014 NASCAR Camping World Truck Series champion, Matt Crafton. Keep it up, man. Matt, I have to know, you know, it'd be, you say you've, you've done this before. This is familiar territory now, but I would imagine the nerves were still there. At what point in the race were you able to finally breathe? When I saw the white flag, 
the last 10 laps were probably the longest 10 laps I've ever ran in a race car without a doubt. I mean, my God, it was like, are you kidding me? I thought you said 10 to go <laughs> a long time ago. Like I said, it's all about, I mean, I'm just the lucky guy that gets to drive this Menard's Toyota Tundra. Uh, like I said, these guys build awesome trucks, bring, I mean, fast, fast trucks every week. And I wanted to race so much harder than I could. And I kept asking, how many trucks are on lead lap? Oh, there's 22 on lead lap. I know we had to finish 21st and couldn't fall past that and I'm like okay the 29th racer for the lead I can't do anything stupid right here I said it's all about these guys behind me I'm just the lucky guy that gets to drive it and like I said you got to thank all the reliable triad horsepower that we've had this year as well it took 178 starts before we were able you were able to finally stop answering that question of when are you going to get that win from there you then won not one but two championships 12 drivers before you have been NASCAR Camping World Truck Series champions no one has ever done no one has ever done what you did tonight. How does it feel? Awesome, awesome. I mean, the greatest feeling, without a doubt, for sure. Uh, the greatest feeling was last year, that little girl, but besides that, see it here. How, does, how is it different, though? Obviously, it has to feel different. You were consistent last year, consistent this year. She was only seven months old when she stood on this stage last year. Does she understand it more? How will you explain it to her, what, what she's witnessing and being a part of tonight? Uh, she's starting to understand it because she loves the cameras, and whenever she's asleep and you wake her up and you bring her out here, she always puts on a show. So she she loves the camera, loves the attention. Like I said, it's so awesome to be able to say, I mean, I was two-time champion with her first year with her, second year with her. So hopefully we can have another one with her next year. You're going to enjoy it, all these fans here tonight, all the fans watching at home. They're witnessing on this Friday, November 14th, history, the first ever back-to-back -back Truck Series champion. Congratulations. Thank you. It sounds awesome to me. I love it.